Hi everyone, I'm Zan and today I'm bringing you a new video. I'm going to be discussing some of the modifications I made to my Tesla Model Y and also some of the accessories that I've installed in the car. I haven't made all the mods yet, but you know, as a car enthusiast, you're never done making the mods. I made some of the mods that I really wanted to make immediately, and there are some on the way, and there are some mods that I'm still going to be making in the near future. So I'll talk about all those today. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go in order like how I got all the mods. So one of the first mods that I made was I got PPF on the car so the ppf i got was and the front bumper on the hood side fenders side mirrors i have a whole video about why i wanted to get the ppf i got ppf on the car within a couple of weeks after buying the car after i got the ppf second thing i did was i got the windows tinted yeah so i chose the ceramic tint for my window because of the heat protection and also for the privacy for more information watch my other video where I discuss the tinting of this car in greater detail. I will link it up here in the video. Make sure to check it out. The next mod was I was thinking about getting like the 20 inch wheels and those still run somewhere between 1500 to 2000. To be honest, like I didn't want to spend that much money and I wasn't willing to compromise on the comfort of this car with the 19 inch wheels and the suspension system that I have. So one of the things, uh, one of the options I had was I can get the just the hubcaps i'll link the video here I, where i talk about hubcaps that i got and to be honest they make the car look really nice i did lose some efficiency maybe like five to ten kilowatts hour you know per every charge i charge my car at home so for me it's really not that big of an issue Another mod I did outside is I install the mud guards or mud flaps. These are not the Tesla ones. The idea of installing the mud flaps was twofold. One is, yeah, I want to do protect the car from the rock chips. But at the same time, the main reason for installing the mud flap, they make the car look really nice, make the car's stance look better. Okay, some of the other modifications that I'm still going to do on the outside are one, I'm going to color the wheel hub black and i'm gonna buy the the custom brick caliper covers i don't know which color i would get either red blue or yellow one of those uh, so that's something on my list to do and then another thing i'm gonna do outside is i'm gonna get the tesla spoiler another thing initially i thought i would not do but i'm now changing my mind after i did the ppf i had to get a new badge from i bought it off of amazon yeah, initially I liked the chrome on white look, but now I'm thinking getting the black cover for the badge for both front and the back. And I think that would go nicely with the overall theme of the car. All right, now moving inside the car. So one of the first things you'll notice is I bought those brake pedal and power or accelerator covers, and I will link those in the description. They were a little bit difficult to install, but they're really good. Even on the raining, a rainy day, wearing any kind of shoes, the grip is perfect. Uh, I don't have any issues. They make the car look really nice. And if you're like me, if you have kids, I recommend is getting a screen protector for your center screen because my middle schooler, every time, any chance they get, they start touching the screen protector for your main display would be an essential thing for you to get. If you have iPhone Pro, I would recommend buying a case for your iPhone Pro, like a MagSafe case which would allow you to charge your phone when you put at this charging station in the Tesla Model Y. I noticed like I bought a case from Amazon, like a cheap case, and I couldn't charge my phone. I had to take my phone out of the case to charge it. So an investment into a phone cover kind of goes a long way. It makes it really convenient to charge my phone when I'm driving. And I do have to put my phone like here on this side, it doesn't really charge, but I leave my phone here because my phone doesn't need to be charged all the time. But on trips, what I've done is notice like there's a mark here i have to put my iphone upside down and then it charges fine and i don't have to take it out of the case because i have a mag safe case now another thing i would highly recommend is buying central console trays from tesla website or even from amazon i like these these are fine and i you know i don't want to put too much clutter in the car anyways these are really deep uh, storage areas and if you buy these trays for model 3 or model y from tesla website these are very nice like you can organize your stuff really well so it comes uh, with two trays one goes in the front area and the other one trays a little bit just a flat I put a lot of stuff here so it's all good you can see the pockets are really deep you can put a lot of stuff in here i would like to keep it clean but this is the cleanest i can do i've seen a lot of videos where people complain about cup holders being too big i have a bottle that i take to work or my coffee mug 
they perfectly fit into these cup holders and to be honest aesthetically this looks really nice the silver rings just for the looks of it i don't want to put anything here so i kept it clean now moving on to the middle one thing i would recommend is buying like this cover if you have child seat or this cover is good it will protect your car seats from getting any scratches because you know we moved the baby seat in and out a lot we moved this base a lot too when we are traveling we rearrange the seats anyways so just to protect your seats from getting scratches i would recommend getting this cover and one of the things that i found very useful i used a box to put here when we were traveling last time with kids i think has used it it was very useful there's actually a storage bin available on amazon that's something i'm gonna probably go buy in case you're wondering the floor mats i'm still using the carpeted original floor mats that come with the model y i'm not in a rush to buy those uh the plastic ones some of them are like 300 dollars, 600 dollars. so far these carpet ones are doing fine in my other cars i have put plastic floor mats before all weather floor mats but this time i don't know i don't really care if it's raining or not they get dirty i vacuum it so i'm gonna keep them for a couple more months until i actually do invest and buy the all weather floor mats if you can, you should invest in this neck pillow um, and you're wondering why. Not only is it useful for traveling, somebody in your car, you can use it, but I also use it too. Sometimes at work, if I need to take a quick nap, I can just come in the car, put the seats flat and I can quickly use this pillow and take a nap in the back of the car because, you know, AC is running. There's no smoke or anything. It's really convenient to catch up on sleep, especially if you have little kids in the house. So Tesla seats are very soft. I noticed that my back sometimes hurts and if you have any back issues or you want a little bit more support for your back especially for long drives i drove to san francisco from socal give or take it was like seven to eight hours drive so i used this back support on my seat that was very helpful i did not really have any fatigue so that, i really enjoyed that trip having this back support made it really easy and then i keep these two clean cloths in the car in case because sometimes if it's raining or camera gets dusty, Tesla will complain about some camera not working and some features may get disabled um, because it is a very computerized car. It needs those cameras to operate. So you wanna keep like a clean cloth in the car to you know keep the cameras clean. All right, take a look how many goodies I have here. This is a package that comes with the car. This is just the front license plate bracket that's here. I have my license plate too, in case I haven't put the license plate up yet uh, i will eventually because this car does not come with spare tire if you notice also this car does not have run flat tires which means if you get a flat you will pretty much will be stuck uh, it doesn't really happen all the time i mean ever since i've been driving maybe once it happened i had a flat on freeway but then other than that you know whenever i had a flat it's typically you're losing air it's not fully flat you're losing some air over several days i bought this tesla kit from the Tesla website in case if I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'm driving with kids. I do take a lot of trips to Arizona, San Francisco, and then you have to drive through a desert for a couple of hours. Yeah, so, so having something like this is more like an insurance policy. I would still be calling AAA, you know, I don't know, Tesla service, depending on where I am, if I run into a situation. But having a air compressor that has saline inside is just a peace of mind, you know, insurance policy, if you will. Keep that in your car just to be safe i also bought this tesla pucks i've heard stories like if you need to tow tesla or if you get a flat and you call the service they need to lift the car they may not have these pucks because you need those to lift the tesla up you know if you call tesla service you'll be fine but let's say you call AAA or something else towing service to help you in case of an emergency they may not have this equipment so having that in the car i think is um is peace of mind it's useful so I would recommend that you do invest in it, probably like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. The last item I want to show for today's video is the Tesla mobile charger. I already have a Tesla wall charger, but then you're wondering like, why would you need a mobile charger? This is also just in case. I did travel to Central Valley, California, but I had this mobile charger in the car. And all of a sudden, Tesla was telling me the closest supercharger is 68 miles or 65 miles away. And I only had like 68 miles left of battery charge. So then a little bit of a panic was setting in. Keeping this in your car at all times, even if you wanted to plug it into 120 volts, you can still charge your car. This is once again an insurance policy, right? I carry this everywhere I go with me. I may also purchase Tesla's CCS adapter. It used to be like $200 or $300 during 
the pandemic a couple of years ago, but now at last I checked, it was less than $200. I think it's a good investment just to buy and keeping in your car. So that's something I'll still buy and keep in the car, the CCS adapter. But other than that, these are all like the security safety items that I keep in the trunk at all times. I would highly recommend that you also do the same. Tesla's trunk has a lot of space. So they, all the items nicely fit in the back. And, and that's it. And you pack it and you move this back. You can't even tell that all that stuff is in the trunk. All right, guys, this concludes today's video. I've discussed all the mods I made to the outside and also to the inside of this car. And I'm only halfway through. I'm going to be making the additional mods in the near future. And I will make the part two of this video in the near future. So like this video and subscribe to my channel and come back again in the future for the part two. Thank you.